Okay, so who are you? I am Aislinn Odsey there. And what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, um, wait, wait, first of all, where are you from? I am from Fairbanks, Alaska. And you came here so that we could do what? Fix my brain. All right. <laughs> so now we've done questions. Just tell, tell everybody what happened. Tell us what's going on. Okay. Um, I was in a car accident about a month and a half ago. Um, we hit and rolled a couple times. I hit the left side of my head on uh, the side panel of the car I was driving, and I ended up with a pretty bad concussion, and now I'm here. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what were you feeling? What I was, was like? struggling. Walk us through what, like, what your symptoms were like and everything else. Um, I got a lot of nausea, dizziness. Um, for the first time in my life, I experienced a bunch of panic attacks, which was extremely frightening. Um, I, what else? I got a lot of headaches and migraines. Um, I was easily confused. My memory was, am I allowed to cuss? No. <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> My memory was terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I had trouble finding words. I stuttered a lot. Um, just general like brain fog. I just was having trouble thinking and being a normal human, basically. Okay. So you've been here a week? Yes. Right. When we started, you had some of the worst data that I've seen. I don't know if those are your kind of things. <laughs> yeah, when we tested all that stuff out, you had some findings that were absolutely 100% atrocious. And what did they look like at the end? Pretty darn solid. Darn <laughs> they were good, good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then what are you going to be doing soon? Um, I am going to be going down to North Carolina to go to college and play soccer. Yeah, on a scholarship. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Um, and there was a lot of questions so whether I need to go back to school first, right? Yeah. That was like my biggest worry when I came here was like, am I even going to be able to go to school? Because literally my like half of my entire childhood was working to get a soccer scholarship and then someone else's ignorance ended me with a concussion and I couldn't even be a normal human, let alone go to school and play soccer. So coming here allowed me to go to school and play soccer and continue with what I worked so hard to do, so. Yeah, I'm with her, yeah. She's worked half her life to get to this point. And we got to a drop dead date and we had a great, we have great care at home, but you know, smaller clinic, busier schedule. And so when he recommended that we come down here um, to Northwest Functional Neurology, I said, okay, we'll give it a try, because it was, at that point, um, a true crapshoot. <laughs> we had no idea what we were getting into, it was like going to Vegas for a weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, here we go, and um, we couldn't ask for anything more. Turned out perfect. Yeah, so just for her to be able to be back on her path and to be able to, you know, go. You know, she's not perfect, but she has a lot more in her basket of skills than she did before we got here. I think she'll do really well, thanks to you guys. Okay, cool. Uh, anything you want anybody else to know? I don't know. I'm amazed how many people are walking around that don't know this kind of help is available. That's true. I've, I've shot so many questions at Rachel this week and said, well, what about inflammatory diseases? What about people don't, how come people don't get help? Why are people just taking medication? Why? There's so much more you could be doing. She said, just, people just don't. So we're going to tell everybody we know about functional neurology, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Any other thoughts? Um, thank you. Thank you. No, you read my mind. I wasn't trying to suck. <laughs> All right, cool. It's true. I mean, I think it seems like such a small thing to say, but it's it covers it all. It's huge. All right. Well, thank you.